Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to look at something like this. So this is an HTML and if you pass it, this is what you get it. Now can I send this HTML code in the SMTP service? Okay, in the SMTP service and this email, Yandex email kind of parses it to figure it out. Let's see this. Okay, so what I've done, right, okay, what I've done is that I've created a flow service called send SMTP email, send SM. Ah, sorry, send email HTML and I've added the input parameters. All these are important guys. Even if you miss one, it's, it's not going to work to subject to subject from mail host port authentication and secure in here. We have to se select either implicit or explicit guys. If you don't do this, I'll tell you what happens. I'll show you that as well. Okay. Anyways, we are not going to send body at this stage. Uh, we are going to do something else. Now, the first thing is that obviously I will drag and drop SMTP. Uh, send email, send, okay, this is send email to Yandex. Send email to Yandex. Yandex. Oh, how do you pronounce? Okay. So before that, see here, this is where this is where we are going to use it. Okay, we are making making use of text slash HTML. This is what we are going to parse it. Content type is text slash HTML. Okay, so but if you see, if you have to pass that HTML, it should be in this stream. It's an object which is of type object. See, it's of type object. Okay, I'm sorry, object. Cool. Now, what first step since it's an object, I need to convert string. Uh, but before that, let me create another variable called input string. Okay, input string okay and i'm going to send it on top of it okay and what i'm going to do also i'm going to take one document and i'll say i'll host all of this all of this one uh, smtp documents okay just for a better restructuring okay all right Now, this is what, what we are going to do. Cool. Input string and SMTP doc. First is string to bytes. This is what we are going to do is it string to bytes. Where is string to bytes? Um, not about to find it. Okay. String to bytes. String to bytes. Let's search it. Okay, there you are. I'll take this string to bytes. Okay. So I'm going to take this input string, map it to here, and then this bytes is getting converted to bytes. Okay. Cool. This is done. So after this, this and this is irrelevant. I'm going to drop it. Then you need to convert bytes to stream. That's anyways you had here somewhere. Okay, here see bytes to stream. That's in input output class. Okay, bytes to stream. Now take this bytes and it is converting into stream. After this, this is also irrelevant. Okay, and then SMTP in here, we are going to map this stream to this attachment here okay I'll map what two to two from to from subject to subject mail host to mail host mail port to mail host port auth to auth or document to document mapping secure to secure that's it save it now status is required attachment all these things are not relevant after this okay is not relevant so is even two as well two is also not relevant 
and then stream is also not relevant actually everything is not relevant to be honest except except this okay status only status is required okay now let's see run as flow service input string i'll take this copy as it is and paste it okay cool first step two uh, i've got the details here two this is index.com okay subject is parse HTML web methods. Okay, then from is this mail host is SMTP hostinger. Mail port is four six five. Authentication type is basic, and this is what is the username. Okay. Password is I'm gonna paste the password. Okay, body is not required. This is implicit. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's run it. Mail sent successful. Let's go to this guy. This is the first time I've done it. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, guys, see it has been passed. This is too good, man. This is too good. Okay, this is too good. Now let's take another HTML. Say um, styles. I don't know paragraphs. I believe. Okay, let's take styles itself. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, not take this as it is. Go back. Run. Input string. Click on the three dots. Paste it. Run. Okay, mail sent successful. Let's delete this. You already got an email. No, we did not get an email, is it? Okay. Got a subscription email. Okay. Two out of one. Not sure. Okay, see, guys. HTML has been passed. This is pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So good, guys. So you learned learned something else today. New. Send an email. Send an email with HTML format. So anyways, I'm going to send this code. I'm going to paste this anyways. Uh, hope you can enjoy with this part of it. Okay. Um, just going to delete all these things, which is not required. Okay. And I'm going to give it as it is. Okay. This is pretty cool. All right, guys. Um, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.